What's up guys, Rupdad here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Now I know the first thought that probably pop popped into your head. Wait, what? Final Fantasy X? I thought you finished that game already. I did, as a matter of fact. The main story, anyway. But... If you're asking that question, you probably missed the past couple videos, well, the last videos in general, of my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. Specifically, the two-part finale where I explicitly mentioned what's going on for the next few weeks. For what I'm doing for my next Let's Play, which I have not revealed what it is yet, I need to get an extra part, so to speak. This part is going to take about 4 to 14 business days to get here. I ordered it last Thursday, so it should be arriving fairly soon. It hasn't come yet, but... In the meantime, I decided that since I put it off for long enough, I would get two Final Fantasy X bonus videos. Now, there is one thing amongst these bonus videos that I am probably not going to be doing. I might do it at a later time, if I get to it at all, because I've never attempted it before. But we'll see what happens. As far as what the bonus videos are that are going up now, however, they're going to revolve around the Celestial Weapons. The Celestial Weapons are, in essence, the ultimate weapons in Final Fantasy X. They are extremely powerful, and they make the end bosses basically seem like a big joke. Provided they are fully powered, of course. I would like to point out, first and foremost, I this is going to be a semi-blind attempt, I guess. The first time I've ever done anything kind of sort of blind on this channel. Because... While I do know how to get all the Celestial Weapons, and fully power them up, I have never actually done so. I have gotten the Celestial Weapons before, it was just, you know, when I was younger, Game Shark existed, and... Yeah, I think that says all that needs to be said right there. But legitimately, I have never gotten them yet. I do know how, though. So, the purpose of these videos, they're probably gonna be on the relatively shorter side. This one, maybe not so much because of the fact that I'm putting in some explanation stuff. But generally, these are going to be sh relatively short videos, just showing off the locations of each weapon, as well as the required crest and sigil to get every one of them to full power. But of course, the, fir the appropriate first place to start would be with the item that makes it possible to even get the weapons in the first place. The Celestial Mirror. Gotta remember my controls here. It's been a while since I played Final Fantasy X. That let's say it was about a year and a half, almost two full years ago now. Anyway. Going into my items here. You'll notice that I have this thing right here called the Cloudy Mirror. It says the surface is dark and clouded. Before we can actually get the specific item needed to actually go after the Celestial Weapons, which is the Celestial Mirror, first you need to obtain the Cloudy Mirror. On screen now, you're watching a past clip from my Let's Play, because obviously I have already obtained the Cloudy Mirror. If you are following along and you have not gotten it yet, to get it, you first need to tame your Chocobo in the Calm Lands by passing the Chocobo Trainer's Test. Then, using your Chocobo, you need to head over to the area where the hidden Remium Temple is. And while there, before you, you can do it at any time, but I did it before I went in to deal with Belgamine and her, uh, yeah, her Aeon Trials to get the Magus Sisters, you will find a champion Chocobo waiting outside the doors of Remium Temple. You have to race him, and upon successfully defeating him, you will obtain the Cloudy Mirror. So, what does the Cloudy Mirror have to do with the Celestial Mirror, you ask? Well, to put it bluntly, the Cloudy Mirror is the Celestial Mirror. You're counting on me, I know, Sid, even though technically I've already taken care of this, yeah. Final Fantasy X, like Kingdom Hearts, is just one of those games where you just restart from wherever your last save point was, and you get, you're free to f play the final boss over and over again or go do other stuff. Anyway... With the Cloudy Mirror in hand, you are going to want to head to... Yeah. 
Well, where you actually want to head is Makalania Woods. However, because the only uh, travel point we have is like Makalania, and... Oh, Jesus, put me here. This is going to be irritating. All right, that works out much better. I instead proceeded to travel to the High Bridge in uh, Bavel, and am now back here. Thankfully, that path leads into Makalania Woods. So where you're going to want to go is the very beginning of Makalania Woods. Hence why I didn't want to travel to Lake Makalania, because that puts me, yeah, at the lake. Not, that's at the very end of the woods, and I don't want to go all the way back through the woods again. You'll see this woman here with her son. If you talk with her, she says she's supposed to meet her husband here, but he hasn't shown up. First things first, we need to go find him. So what we need to do is head two screens to the right. Nothing that difficult. Then one screen up, as this area should look, be looking pretty familiar to you. This is where we escaped from after fleeing from Bavel, and also the site of the infamous uh, love scene between our main hero here and Yuna. So if we talk to this guy, he says he's supposed to meet his family here, but they're nowhere in sight. Well, that's because they're waiting over there, pal. Yeah, you better get to move on. Sorry for the delay, I just saw that treasure chest there, and I realize it's open now. For whatever reason, I thought I didn't open it. Anyway. Mental lapse. Anyway. After we've talked to the husband and gotten him to go back to his family, we need to head back to the beginning of... Makalania Woods. It's been too long. I can't, I can't remember the shit. Anyway, if we talk to the family, they will gladly thank us for reuniting them. But if you talk to him a second time, they'll talk about how their son has now gone missing. Now, after you have brought the husband back to his wife... Jeez, almost sounds like a bad soap opera or something. You'll notice that this crystal path here is no longer blocked off. So if we head up this path, and simply follow it around... It would take us to this area. And we have this fork in the road here. Going up at this fork, we find the little boy. It feels like there's something around here, he says. But what could that something be? Well, we have the option to use the cloudy mirror, so let's go ahead and use it. And conveniently enough, we now have the Celestial Mirror! Yeah, because we needed that special thing, whatever this is, to, uh... Yeah, you're welcome for finding your dad as well, kid. Apparently that thing, whatever it was, was needed to unfog the mirror. Couldn't just wipe it off with a cloth or something. What's up with that mirror thing that's so special? Anyway, now that we have... Remember, controls. The surface is shiny and bright. Now that we have the Celestial Mirror, we are ready to start hunting for the Celestial Weapons. We could obtain the Crest and Sigils before getting the Celestial Mirror. As you see, I already have the Sun Crest and the Moon Sigil in my inventory. But, to get the weapons themselves, you need the Celestial Mirror. Free and clear. So, that's gonna do it for this episode. Regarding the other bonus videos, for the most part, they're going to be more, probably, montage style, with post-commentary at points, maybe. Just because, for the most part, it's just going to be me gathering them up and then explaining it. Nothing really too complicated about that. Though some of them are probably going to have fail montages in them. For the simple fact that, yeah, some of the requirements to get the Celestial Weapons are really freaking challenging. 
Those specific ones, I am not looking forward to. And I'm going to start off with one of them, too. <sighs> the videos will also consist of not only me obtaining the Celestial Weapon, but also the Crest and Sigil. In the case of these two right here, I am probably just going to do what I did with showing the footage, showing old footage from my Let's Play of how to obtain them from when I actually did obtain them during the actual Let's Play, since I happen to know where they are, where they were, and they were just kind of along the way for what I was doing at that point anyway. All the rest will be live footage. Probably with post commentary, montages, etc., etc., etc. So, with that out of the way, as I said, these videos are going to be relatively shorter because they're just showing off where, the, where to find them. Nothing really more than that. Thank you guys for watching. I have been Rupt at. And in our next bonus video, we are going to go after our main character's ultimate weapon. I could refer to him as Titus, but as you recall, I never named him Titus. Whatever you called him. We're going to go after his ultimate weapon, or celestial weapon, excuse me, the Kaladbolg. I will see you guys then. Take care.